It's 8 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day. Still to come, go beyond the parks. Yeah, there really are a lot of things to do beyond the parks in Central Florida. Ahead, we're talking with a local travel expert about cool out-of-the-box places to explore right here in Central Florida. All right, so here's an idea for you in Central Florida. How about skip the lines and go beyond the parks? Travel writer Sarah Sakula is here to show you how. And Sarah, you are someone who has been all around the world, literally. Australia, Curacao, Grenada, the Netherlands. Yes. But you also love Central Florida, don't you? I do. I love coming back home and just being around my friends. And there's so much to do here. So I always enjoy Central Florida. Whenever I talk to anybody who doesn't live here, the only thing they want to talk about, oh, you live in Orlando. No, tell me about Disney and Universal and SeaWorld. What are some of the other great things we can do around here? The first one I'm going to talk about is called Blast Off Adventures. Okay. And it is so much fun. It kind of looks like it's something straight out of a James Bond movie. Oh, wow. Yes, it's you called, got me now. <laughs> it's called Jet Love. And it's a water propelled jet pack that you wear sort of like a backpack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it propels you 30 feet into the air. You can also go in a horizontal direction up to 30. 30 miles per hour. Holy moly. Yes. There's, there's so photos of it right you there. You basically look like a superhero, and who doesn't want to look like that? I mean, it looks like a lot of fun. And, and have you done this yet? I haven't tried this, but yeah. I'm dying to try it. Yeah, I've seen one of our reporters a couple years ago did this down, I think, in Miami when it first got to Florida, yes. and it does look like an amazing fun time. It All right, so what else do we have? Um, I've been to Orlando Circus School recently for trapeze classes. What? Yes. I didn't know there was such a thing. Yes, it's and it's actually a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Huh. I got there and I thought it looks kind of impossible, a little bit scary, but you climb up that platform about 30 feet into the air, mm -hmm. your toes are dangling off the edge of the platform, and when she says go, you just kind of fly through the air. By the end of the class, you can try one of these catch and release techniques on the screen right now, and that looks scary too, but it, it all works. You just listen to the instructions you're given, kind of turn your brain off, and it just yeah, it, and, it magically works. And say a little prayer. It <laughs> yes. magically works. <laughs> I survived it. I loved it. I wasn't prepared though. You're very, very sore the next day. Yeah. Did, did you have any slips and did you fall into the net any? I didn't. I did okay. Way to go, Sarah. I, yeah. That's I awesome. I think I'm going to join the circus now. <laughs> <laughs> Run away and join the circus. All right. So what else? Uh, what else? Let's see. There's another place called um, Orlando Aerial Arts. It's uh, kind of looks like Cirque du Soleil. They have um, aerial silks classes and aerial hoops classes. And huh. they both require some upper body strength. So you're getting a good workout while you're you're probably going to be laughing at yourself. I, I, I was. <laughs> and uh, for newbies like me, you only go a few feet off the ground. Right. So there's nothing to be scared about. They'll teach you literally from the ground up. And it doesn't matter what your fitness level is. They are going to work with you. And it's really just fun. And by the end of it, you're going to be able to do it no matter what. Yes. yes. So how did you get into travel writing and discovering things like this? Um, you know, I just have always had this sense of adventure. And I like to do unusual usual things, things that you can, you know, tell your friends about. And I also like fitness too, so I like to do things a little bit unusual. And there's one more thing I want to ask you about. Is it the Wallaby Ranch? Is... Yes. Tell me yes. about that. Okay, so it turns out you can go hang gliding in Florida. You don't need mountains. They've developed a system where you have a small plane that okay. tows the hang glider up about 2,000 feet into the air, and that's where the, the tow rope um, drops, and you start gliding back to the ground. Wow. And very slowly too, so it's actually pretty relaxing. It's a gorgeous view. There's about 200 acres that they own out there. Where is it's, this? Um, out in Davenport. Okay. So it's truly old Florida. You see the pine trees, um, wildlife around you. It's just gorgeous. Oh, Sarah Sakula, thanks for coming in. If people want to read more, what's your website? It's sarahsakula.com. And that's S-E-K-U-L-A. You got it. Sarah, thank you, thank you very much. Thanks nice for to meet me. you.